Hello everyone and welcome to another review, introduction, tips and everything for a new game, Thronefall, which is an early access game, but uh, it's quite cheap and you'll get your money's worth. It's like six quid, so keep that in mind. It's gonna progress. Now it's really polished, so good game. Um, it is a city kingdom base defender, whatever you want to call it. If you played kingdom, it's very similar, if not almost the same in some regards like that, but 3D. So if you are not a big fan of 2D games and you always said, oh, I want to play Kingdom, but I wish there was a 3D version of it. At least this is the only one I know that exists. Maybe there are other games. Let me know in the comments. Um, and it's quite good. I like it. Uh, I like the atmosphere. I like the... Again, I am one of those people that I would have preferred that 3D, um, and I got my wish. So basically, let's uh, get into a short presentation. This is all you can play right now. It's still very early, but then again, it's super cheap. Um, and you know, I played a few hours, you get your money's worth, um, and you're gonna have it and unlock new stuff. So basically, you would start in this location, and you progress one by one, and as you can see, I can't play the last one because I haven't unlocked this one. But um, yeah, and as you can see, the it's a nice touch that the world map, so to say, changes um, as you finish the levels. So let's go to one of the completed levels, and uh, okay, let's go to a new one. Uh, we would like to play. Yes, let's play. Uh, if friends have it, you can see their uh, score. And then you get this before you select um, what you want to play. So um, at first there's a bunch of stuff locked. As you can see, I still have uh, stuff locked. So the first thing you select is the weapon of your character. And it says active, it says passive, yada yada. Then different perks that affect either you or your base. Um, and again, there's so many to unlock. And mutators, which basically are... Um, debuffs, so to say, that uh, make the game harder and more interesting and you also um, get more points if you win with those mutators and also, as you can see, there's like 6 out of... Uh, 0 out of 6 crowns and uh, this is how you achieve the crowns, so achieve victory, get 1 crown, achieve victory with sword and the uh, debuff that does this enemies drop less gold yada yada and of course you can try to get as many as you can in one go so if you want to speed run this so to say but obviously i can get achievement b achievement c and achievement f in one go because they will ask of me to have a different weapon the weapon of my character but for example if i really was good i haven't even unlocked this mutator that they ask me for achievement E. And that's another thing in this game. So you get um, an amount of experience, even if you lose or win, which counts towards your, uh, your level. And your level unlocks new perks, weapons, and mutators. So even if, let's say, you fail the level, the good thing is it's not all lost. It's not like you struggled really hard and thought really hard how to win this and you didn't manage, you made mistakes, at the end the points still count and you can unlock new stuff. So apart from the fact that it feels like your progress is not in vain, you can also they also count towards unlocking new stuff. So maybe uh, you try again the same challenge, the same um, debuffs, but this time a new perk got unlocked that is just the right thing that you needed to finish this level and uh, you use it and then you win the game and you progress and yeah it's it's nice to see that uh, your progress is not in vain and it still counts and it helps you to unlock uh, new content to play again to use for the next level to go back on a previous level because maybe later uh, after i feel like i got the necessary perks i can go back and achieve a victory with these two debuffs which are quite big like if you look at this but maybe along the line, one of the perks helps me that uh, I counteract the effects of these buffs better. So this is the introduction for it. Um, 
again, I really like how the perks and weapons and that you can combine like the weapon and then you can think if you want to do more damage, the buildings you place want to do, you want to do more damage. So I feel like it has um, a lot of space for replayability even so early on. Uh, but um, yeah, without further ado, let's go into the actual uh, gameplay. Okay, so without further ado, we get into a game and as you can see, you only start with a um, town center and uh, the direction and the type of enemies uh, that you're going to face. Um, and you select the economic buildings, the offensive buildings, and then you prepare for the attack. This time I knew, because I played before, that it's going to be a choke point at right this place. So instead of buying towers or anything else, I just got some soldiers because I knew the enemy is going to be blocked there. And then you select when you start the um, round and the enemies keep spawning. And as you can see, you can also help them out. You can also aggro them to follow you and help your troops. You have a normal attack and a special attack depending on your weapon. And uh, yeah, in the beginning it's pretty easy and day one is finished. And again, you spend the money you earned, which you get bonus by how much of your city survived and how fast you finished everything. And then we fast forward a bit to a more advanced part of the game where I have enemies coming from all directions and uh, different types of enemies. And I have to think really carefully what I'm going to do and where I'm going to place everything. Because a lot of the times... Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices uh, and hope that one part of the map holds uh, and that you can come and help it afterwards so you can focus most of your force and economy on one side of the map and then you just take the soldiers that you finished with to the other side and uh, help them out. Here I saw that enemies are, are coming from two directions and I thought that it would be the best decision to get my warriors out here. And hopefully the other sides uh, survived. And this time I didn't even need to go to the other side to help them out. But later in the game, when there's more enemies, you'll see me going around the map and bringing soldiers from one side to the other. Okay, so basically here, we're on the last wave. You can see there's all types of enemies coming from all the sides. You can see towers upgraded differently. And I thought I'd do it depending on the types of enemies that are coming. And as you can see, I have no soldiers on this side because I have so many towers. And I moved most of my soldiers where I had less towers and I had to make use of them. And as you can see, I'm traveling between the mines because they can let you travel. That's one of their perks. If you have more than one mine, you can travel between them. And I'm trying to see which sides need the more help. And here I can see this is getting overwhelmed. So I grab my spearmen because the other side is doing well with uh, the arches and the towers. And um, yeah, basically uh, you just have to keep checking which one of your sides need more help. If it, needs your help as a leader to do your attacks and all that but as you can see this one's pretty chill um, but they do break to one of the sides which means I have to take my soldiers from the other side and help there uh, because ta the towers can take care of it uh, but in the end because I didn't have that uh, much that many of harsh mutators it was like it was a bit panicky and more effort to think everything true but depending on the mutators um, it can be like a close call or we can win comfortably like here and as you can see here you are new mutator new skills new passives and all that which will help you in previous or new levels that you're gonna play so bottom line um, tips uh, experiment with all the possible skills look on the terrain of different maps, uh, where to focus the soldiers, where to focus the towers, uh, see any cho choke points. It, it's just, it makes, I like, I like it about this game that it makes you think uh, which, what would be the best strategy for this map, for this location. Obviously, it's trial and error. Sometimes you think, oh, this is better defended with towers, this is better defended with soldiers. But... Um, 
that's what I like also that um, you can try different strategies from or different maps. Some might work, some might not. And if you lose, you don't get punished. You still get the XP at the end and might unlock uh, skills that, um, you know, help you out and actually solve the, you, you get a missing puzzle to why your strategy wasn't working on the map. And if you're not about that life, you don't get any mutators. And I feel like the game is fairly easy to win if you don't go for, uh, if you don't, Try to make it hard on yourself to get all the points with the mutators, with the and all that. So um, yeah, I feel like it's a game for both kind of players. Somebody just that just want to experiment the game and experiment different strategies just for the fun of it, and for the people that want to win the game and make it as hard as possible and have an exercise of thought and skill because obviously with your uh, your little man since this is 3d you can use use it to get soldiers from one side to the other to aggro mobs to buy your towers and soldiers some time so it's really varied in that regard uh, of strategy which is really nice um again very cheap at this point, six uh, six uh, UK pounds. Uh, I recommend you to get it at, at this price ra range. Uh, you can get your money's worth easily. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you liked it, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.